Good afternoon again. Uh, I was just reminded of another uh, of another difficulty a moment ago. A usual old man gets, in, gets into traffic broadcasting north, north of me saying that he has to clarify about his sex behavior, saying, in the Vatican can. You know, and uh, they really emphasize it, even medically, they emphasize the word can in my mouth. But there's something I know that I didn't do, and that I that I would that that I would never have even thought of doing. So anyway, when I used to be so respectful of persons that I assumed were uh, virtuous, that there that uh, an old man again interrupts me from traffic sound talking about being uh, a, a variety of sex uh, uh, activity that I never thought of being. And you know, I was thinking about that something like that a few moments ago. Uh, a couple of days ago, a couple of mornings ago, I was on the roadside where another man, who alleged being from the Vatican, uh, said that he would want he was would want me to be a, a sex mate. And you know that is really a very irritating, provocative kind of interference. And they had been there had been some. If anybody else had been uh, where I live uh, uh, a couple of nights before, they would have heard about eight or maybe ten hours of moment to moment intruding at me, broadcasted from traffic into the sound of air conditioning, and so they've installed an air, uh, 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 stereo and so arguing at me, interrupting me, uh, threatening me, uh, saying a lot of, in the, in the Vatican assertion, a lot of the, the corrupt variety of the Marine accusation, and all from the same kind of slandering, for wearing me down, forcing me to have to argue back at the moment to moment for hours. It is really, and then when I, when I'm starting to go to sleep at the in the middle of the night, there were some that act official of, about it, and there I, I like being polite when if persons are official, but uh, one of them was a British, an older British sounding woman, and I just so irritated that I said angry words. It had been an accumulation of being harassed at through so many hours, and then some. You know, of late last night I was awakened at about 3:30 in the morning by an old man who liked to sound like he portrayed himself as though being uh, uh, President Biden, and he says, we have burned Ralph. You know, and then he started saying, in the Vatican assertion again. And, uh, you know, I start getting threatened about irritatingly talking back and trespassing that even threatens our nation and people. So uh, I just wanted to say that I mentioned before that a difficulty that I have about being partly isolated by the noise and disruption is there are some that are rich and uh, and uh, allegedly of official position who act as though they're representing me. That when I don't have any uh, forum, I don't have any uh, position or job uh, in order to be uh, expressing uh, uh, these actual opinions, my own, uh, to anybody about any matters that are uh, uh, possibly important to others, is that others, that the, the persons from the abuse family and their associates act as though they're representing me. And uh, after a previous report, written report a few days ago, there was another sudden attack where they start uh, threatening that I'm to a father who had actually staged his death when I was an 11 year old. I was a pallbearer in his funeral. But a man was getting in, portraying himself as official, saying that I was to be to my father and mother and that they were committing me against. Uh, against uh, uh, reports that I had sent against, uh, that are against them. So uh, it, it turns out that there's help against that. Uh, you know, what that really means is, is they want to incapacitate the, uh, ab the victim who is, a, this is partly an abuse victim. I know it seems kind of ridiculous, but uh, really they incapacitated me for a lot of years uh, using something that they had done into me when I was very young. So they don't, they don't really, they're very arrogant and they don't accept that a witness could be testifying against them or presenting any evidence against themselves. So they, they you know, try another ploy to try to incapacitate me and act as though there isn't any file or anything. So it's really very irritating. And you know, uh, there is one, there's one old man that participates frequently. He's a very shrill voice and he says that he's, uh, he says that he's of the homo variety of, uh, uh, behavior. As a matter of fact, the first time I heard him was back in 1993, walking past Holy Cross Lutheran Church, where the uh, where there uh, used to be on the corner of uh, uh, Beneva and V Ridge, where the Walmart is now. And he kind of derisively said, "Nowadays we're nothing but a bunch of old homos." And you know, all through the years since, he 
he was portraying himself as being a pastor or a priest, and I had visited their office, and I guess he was either an associate pastor or he was broadcasted to the Holy Cross corner, but was actually a priest from Incarnation. So anyway, very irritating. And I think it was the same. So years pass, and one day I'm riding a transit bus on Geneva Road, and I'm mostly sure the same man portraying himself as a priest got into the back of the bus sound very anxiously saying that he would like to watch the, the boobs of pretty ladies being melted off. Wanted to sound very very uh, excited about it. You know, but it's in the, he gets into the sound of, of, of the buses, you know. You know, I reported against him. I've been reporting for years, you know. But they just aren't, they aren't represented by me. After reports some days ago, a different man who sounds partly Irish said that they had always been portraying themselves as though they were representing me. But I like the pretty fashion ladies. I always liked seeing the, the pretty ladies. I wouldn't have ever thought of, of doing anything to harm them. Anymore. But years before, I was leaving Gulfgate Library one day and a foreign woman got into the traffic broadcasting loudly saying who we're going to first judge in this society and then started specifying against the pretty ladies again. So anyway, I just want to say that uh, I really uh, always uh, cared instead, and, and I'm hoping that, that uh, matters are going to be nicely resolved for our nation and to continue with the uh, intent of the nice ladies being safe against the creepy old burning threats. And I hope everyone's having a good day.